Are you looking for some ways to reduce or maybe even eliminate the cost of feeding your quail? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I do exactly that. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or heck, even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. And I've, re I've addressed in recent videos how much it costs to uh, feed your quail, how much feed they go through on a regular basis, and I thought I'd share today a tip on how you can actually feed your quail for free. It doesn't cost me a thing to feed my quail. I'm going to show you how I do that. First tip is make sure you get a feeder that reduces the waste or eliminates the waste. These feeders have worked out really well for me. It's just a Glad container, um, cheap container from any of the big box stores, and you just cut some holes in the side here for them to stick their heads through, and you fill the feed up to right about there. I've got one more feeder in here that's actually made just a little bit differently. Let me show you it real quick. Get back, buddy, birdie. Same basic concept just a much bigger feeder so it holds a lot more food. And this is actually I think a Rubbermaid container. I'll put a link down below where you can pick one of these up. It's a uh, pretty good sized feeder, holds a lot of feed and uh, because they're such messy eaters whenever they throw their heads around in here they don't waste any feed whatsoever. So it's really done a great job at reducing my feed waste. All right, now let's talk about the exciting stuff. How do you actually feed your quail for free? Now, I know lots of people out there have advocated feeding your quail all natural, raising mealworms and uh, grains and fodder and those kinds of things for your birds, and you can do that, and that will significantly reduce your cost of feed, but it's a lot of work, and in my opinion, just really not worth it. So here's what I do. I collect all my eggs, and I incubate on a fairly regular basis, and I've got enough birds that whenever I incubate eggs, I can usually get about 80, 80 eggs in there, somewhere around in there, 70 eggs. I usually never end up with a hatch of less than about 50 birds. So I'll hatch out about 50 birds, and I do that on a regular basis. Then I raise them up till they're about three weeks old. And at that point, I post them up on Craigslist for sale. Now around here, birds at about three to five weeks old, from, from that point on, they go for about $5 a bird. And there's a decent enough market. I don't get a huge amount of interest in that. But generally, out of every hatch, I can sell about 20 birds, and that still leaves me with 20 or 30 birds that I have that I can go to freezer with and feed my family with. But by selling those 20 birds for $5 a piece, I end up with about $100. And that's more than enough to cover all the feed costs for all my birds for the entire time that those birds are growing out. So that's what I do to feed my birds for free. And if you do that on a regular basis, you get good hatch rates. And if you need help with hatching your quail out, you haven't had good hatch rates, there's a link right here where you can click on, or maybe it's on the other side of the screen, one or the other. You'll have a link where you can click on that. Go watch my series on how to incubate, how to store, how to hatch your eggs so you can have really good hatch rates. When you hatch those birds out and you sell those birds, usually, like I said, I don't usually have a problem with selling about 15 to 20 birds out of about every batch that I hatch out and that covers all my feed costs, just pays for it myself. I go down, I find the cheapest feed cost I can find, which is about $11, $12 a bag right now for a 50 pound bag, and I buy four or five bags of that at a time, store it up, feed my birds out for several months, and then before I need more feed again, I've hatched out another batch, I've been able to sell my, uh, my 20, 20 birds or whatever, raise enough money to go buy another batch of food. And that's done pretty good for me about for the last year and a half. Every once in a while I fall a little bit short, but generally speaking, by selling those 20 birds, it, little, it covers a little bit more than my feed cost, so that adds up over time. And all in all, over the course of a year, it really costs me nothing to feed my birds. I'm not making any money off of it, I'm just breaking even, but I'm getting free eggs and free meat out of it. So there's a good tip for you guys. Check your market, see if your market's good enough. Um, if you've got good birds like JMF Pharaohs, those are the best selling birds for me because they are a they are a standard bird, they're a proven bloodline, and people will go after them. So check and see what your market's like, see if you've got the uh, ability to do that as well. And that's one way where you can uh, completely eliminate the feed cost. It works out well for me, hopefully it works out well for you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have uh, other tips or other things that you've done to help reduce or eliminate your feed cost. Thank you so much for viewing this video, and uh, as always, God bless.